What's up everybody? My name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics and today I want to ask you a question. <laughs> Could an ax stop a bullet? I was walking through Lowe's and I saw this ax and I was like, that's like a modern day battle ax. That is really cool. I wonder if it could stop a bullet. If this was your weapon, this is what you were wielding, and someone took a shot at you, could you stop the bullet with your ax? Well, today we're gonna find out. But before we do, I wanna say thank you to our video sponsor. As you know, YouTube has been demonetizing videos, especially gun content. But thankfully, there's still people out there that like to support us, like Vikings War of Clans. Vikings War of Clans is inspired by the 90s strategy and RPG games that I used to play before some of you were even bored. What makes the Viking world so addictive is that more than 20 million online players are constantly changing the way the game evolves by never-ending fighting over resources, forging new alliances, and competing in live events. Help support Kentucky Ballistics by downloading Vikings War of Clans for free using my links in the description down below. When you download the game, you don't get this cool hat. This is my hat. Don't ask me where I got it, but I am keeping it. But what you do get when you download Vikings War of Clans using my link specifically is 200 gold and a protective shield, which is really helpful when you first start playing the game. I am playing the game, my username is the Kentucky Viking, and my clan is Kentucky Ballistics. So come join my clan, we'll go do some Viking stuff, but for now, let's see if this ax will stop a bullet. There we go, that'll work. I was gonna wear my Viking hat the whole time, but it's really cold today, and it wasn't doing a very good job of keeping my head warm. So I switched back to my regular hat. We've got our ax set up. As usual, we're gonna start out with something small and work our way up to something big. We're gonna start out with a nine millimeter. This is an honor defense honor guard, and we're gonna be loaded up with some nine millimeter, 124 grain full metal jackets. All right, let's go check it out. So it looks like an ax will stop a nine millimeter. There's not even a dent on this thing. Okay, now let's see if it'll stop a 45. This is a Springfield 1911 model A1, and we're gonna be loaded up with some 45 ACP, 230 grain full metal jackets. Okay, it looks like we hit right here. There's not even a dent. So an ax will stop a 45 ACP. Okay, 9mm and 45 ACP are cool, but let's move up to something bigger. How about a Desert Eagle? This is the Magnum Research Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE. And we're going to be loaded up with some 325 grain jacketed hollow points. I can't believe the axe didn't fall over. So here's where we hit, and there's a pretty big dent in that axe now, but it did stop the bullet. Okay, so I brought some smaller rifles that we were gonna shoot it with, like an AR-15 and an AK-47, but seeing the big dent that that Desert Eagle put in that axe, I don't wanna break it before we can get to the big boy. So let's go ahead, let's break protocol, go ahead and shoot it with the 50 BMG, then we can come back and shoot it with the AR and the AK-47. So we have a Serbu RN-50 chambered in 50 BMG, and we're gonna be loaded up with a 50 BMG black tip armor piercing round. Well, I think we went through the ax. <laughs> yep, I would say we made it through the ax. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that out without breaking it. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the entrance hole and there's the exit hole. <laughs> so an ax will definitely not stop a 50 BMG. Okay, the ax is still intact, so let's hit it with an AR-15. 
We're gonna be loaded up with some 223 full metal jackets. I believe these are 55 grain. Oh man, that broke the top off. All right, let's go check that out. We hit it several times. So we shot a few times. We have two shots on the edge. This one deflected and this one went through. We went through right here, but there's not a whole lot to stop it right now. And when we hit right here, we broke a piece of the ax off. Now let's hit it with the AK-47 in this fresh spot here. Last but not least, let's hit it with the AK-47. We're gonna be loaded up with some 7.62 by 39 123 grain full metal jackets. Woo. Woo. Real quick, I wanna show you that it did stop that. Let's go set it back up and hit it a few more times. Dang, it stopped it again. I don't know where the third shot hit. I think we may have hit in the same spot twice. Regardless, we stopped the AK-47, but this side did not stop the AR-15. I'm wondering if it's because this side had been hit several times with pistols before we shot it with the AR-15, and this side was fresh. Let's use the AR-15 one more time, but this time, let's shoot the same side we shot with the AK-47. <laughs> Looks like it stopped it. It stopped it. <laughs> I'm guessing it didn't stop when we hit this side because this side had already been compromised by being hit with pistols, especially after being hit with the Desert Eagle. So will an axe stop a 50 BMG? No, it will not stop a 50 BMG. Will it stop smaller rifle rounds like an AK-47 or an AR-15? Potentially. Will it stop pistol rounds? Yes, I would say it will stop pistol rounds, but I would not be trying to stop bullets with an axe in the first place. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to support the channel by downloading Vikings War of Clans for free using my links in the description down below. Also, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, don't forget to hit that little bell. That way you get notifications when we upload new videos. Also, be sure to check out Kentucky Ballista's clothing and check us out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, or you can find them on our website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.